Well lads, what's the crack? My name is Orgy Jade Runner and welcome to Silent Hill 2. Right, I've been threatening to play this game for ages and ages and it's actually something I want to come back to myself personally because I uh, played this game years and years ago but I never really had the gumption to finish it. I was literally too afraid to play it all the way through. In fact, I think I might have only played about maybe 10, 15, 20 minutes of it. That, that's about it. I don't remember much of it. I do know the lore behind it though. I do know... The story to it vaguely from clips I've seen on YouTube going back again years and years ago. So uh, yeah, I'm not exactly going into this, you know, how do I say green. Uh, so I'm not completely unaware of the story. I'm not completely unaware of my situation within the game itself. So uh, yeah, it's going to be a fun game to play, at least for me and hopefully other people. And of course... It's very loud, I have to turn down the headset. So, I'm playing it on normal and I have the difficulty, or the riddle level set to normal as well, if you didn't see that, because I went through the menu pretty fast. And I do apologize if the cutscenes are a bit pixelated. Now, I did test this game beforehand just to make sure it runs perfectly on the PCSX2 emulator and this is as good as I could get it. Now, and like I said, I do own the game legally as well. I believe I have it here in my game rack. So, Konami, you can't sue me. You can't sue me. I have the game. I have the game. Nyeh, nyeh. I just downloaded the ISO from a website. Mary, could you really be in this town? Sure, why not? Everyone's in Silent Hill. It's a hell of a town. It's a hell of a party town. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I downloaded the ISO from a website because... I don't have an optical drive in my PC and I can't be arsed putting one in just for the sake of a let's play series. I, mean, I do have an optical drive. It's literally on one of my other shelves but I don't see the point for it. I, I don't really have a lot of disc based media that I use on the PC anymore. In fact I, I, I don't think anyone uses disc based media on PCs unless they're ripping like DVDs or something like that, but that's about it. But yeah, I've uh, used the PCSX2's uh, upscaling technology and whatnot just to make the game look a bit sharper, a bit more presentable. But I'm still trying to keep it as uh, vanilla as possible. I see that. I love this music. I got a letter. The name on the envelope said Mary. My wife's name. It's ridiculous. Couldn't possibly be true. That's what I keep telling myself. A dead person can't write a letter. Mary died of that damn disease three years ago. So then, why am I looking for her? Some special place. What could she mean? This whole town is our special place. Does she mean the park on the lake? We spent the whole day there. Just the two of us, staring at the water. Could Mary really be there? Is she really alive? Waiting for me? Alright, now we've got that bit of a, a dialogue out of the way. How have you guys been? 
I mean, if there's anyone watching my channel anymore, because I haven't uploaded in about two weeks. It's been fairly difficult because of the summer heat here and because of my own setup. I don't have any AC in my room. I don't have any fans, so it can get unbelievably hot, especially with a PC running in your room as well. Because it's been like a good 25, 26 plus degrees here in Ireland for the past uh, week or so. Week or so. I want to say for the past two weeks, it's been unbelievably hot. So, uh, yeah, I just couldn't bring myself to record any type of video. Anywho, I'll be getting back to The Walking Dead as well. It's going to be a bit of a mix of this uh, Silent Hill and The Walking Dead. So I might record some Telltales of Walking Dead after this. Or I might spam up upload this. Who, who knows? So spam upload to Silent Hill 2. Although I'll try not to because I think my channel could do with a bit more variety. I, I do know the ups and downs, the strengths and weaknesses of my own channel. I think, obviously, I need to be a bit more consistent. Obviously, I need to play a few more indie games or try out a few more indie games. Not just horror games, but, you know, fun adventure games, stuff like that. Stardew Valley. I've been thinking about Stardew Valley, actually, for ages. It looks interesting. It reminds me of Harvest Moon on the Game Boy and uh, PS1. Played it years ago. Wasn't that much of a fan of it, but it, it just looks like a very interesting game. And here going back to Silent Hill itself. So we're getting a remake of Silent Hill 2 as well. Could be this year, could be next year, but also there's going to be Silent Hill Ascension. Silent Hill Townfall and of course Silent Hill F. I think this is a bit of a safe spot here. There's something in the well. What's that? Looking at this makes me feel like someone's groping around the inside of my skull. It gives me a weird feeling. Alright, continuing on. So the first of many safe points, I assume. Where am I now? Uh... I do believe this is a graveyard, if memory serves me right. Or at least the entrance to one. Oh, yeah, pixelated cutscene time. And there is not a damn thing I can do about the quality. Excuse me. I... Oh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I no, was just... No, it's okay. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. Lost? Yes, lost. Yeah, I'm looking for Silent Hill. Is this the right way? Um, yeah. It's hard to see with this fog, but there's only the one road. We can't miss it. Thanks. But... Yes? I think you'd better stay away. This... Uh, th this town... There's something wrong with it. It's kind of hard to explain, but... Is it dangerous? Maybe. And it's not just the fog, either. Okay, it's... I got it. I'll be careful. I'm not lying. No, I believe you. It just... I guess I really don't care if it's dangerous or not. I'm going to town either way. But why? None your business. I'm looking for... someone. Who... who... who is it? Someone... Very important to me. I'd do anything if I could be with her again. Me too. I'm looking for my mama. I, I mean my mother. It's been so long since I've seen her. I 
thought my father and brother were here, but I can't find any evening. I'm sorry. It's not your no, problem. I, I hope you find them. Yeah, you too. I mean, if you're trying to find them in a graveyard, good luck trying to find them alive. Or maybe that's exactly what she's trying to do, find her graves. Okay, either way, what the hell was I talking about earlier on? Oh yeah, uh, we're getting new Silent Hill games, and of course we're getting a new Metal Gear Solid game. Well, it's going to be a remake of Metal Gear Solid 3, Metal Gear Solid Delta, so Konami after... God knows how many years, 10 years, how long has it been since playable teaser? They're finally doing something right. I mean, the last decent game they had was Metal Gear Solid 5. Uh, the Phantom Pain. Now, I've never played that game. I wasn't really a fan of it, to be honest. I I just thought it was too long-winded. I like I love the first, uh, first two or three Metal Gear Solid games. Sorry, the first four in the main series, Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, 3, and 4. And I suppose uh, Metal Gear, what was it, Metal Gear Rising, the hack and slash, that was pretty okay as well. But I didn't really have any time or patience for the more complicated games, portable ops on the PSP. And, and uh, portable ops 2, or was it portable ops plus? I didn't like those games. But, like I said, the first four games, I have a deep fondness for them. They were great. But also, not only that, uh, Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, and 3 are coming out as part of the Master Collection as well. So that's great. I mean, if they're coming out as a physical release, I will definitely pick that up. I hope you have a physical release as well as a digital release because I, I like owning physical games. Alright, and there's something weird about this area. Let's do with the textures, something, something, something. Why is the newspaper almost half the size of me? Yeah, I, I, I thought something was a bit off. Look at them, these aren't to scale. Tut tut tut, I hope that's fixed in the remake. But no unless there's giants lurking around Silent Hill that read the newspaper. Maybe, maybe not, who knows. Anyway, yeah, this fog be thick. I mean, is it a texture glitch or what? Because I don't remember the fog being this thick in the PS2 game, or or on the OG PS2, I should say. Hmm. Maybe it was. Because I played this. How long ago was it? It's got to be at least ten years. At least ten years. And yes, I know there is the HD collection, but apparently the HD collection is supposed to be pure shite. Just because it's a very glitchy, buggy mess. Now, which way do I go? I don't think I'm supposed to go down this way, but I just don't want to miss anything. Because, you know... There's normally health drinks and med packs and god knows all sorts of other items scattered around the place. And I'd rather not miss any of those. No, no, nothing here. Okay. Nada. Alright. Glad I explored that area anyway. Wait, 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 wait. Can I, can I go in here? No. Mm, no, no. I mean, 
I mean, Silent Hill is explorable, but it's not that explorable. And oh, look, a blood trail. Are these Marlix blood? Oh, that'd be thick. Shadow just now. Oh, I'm chasing it. I'm hunting down the booty. Where should me that booty? That is a thick ass booty, boy. It's ripe for the spanking. Or ripe for the spanking, I should say. Back. Actually, I, I don't think any monsters spawn until I actually confront that thing. So maybe I should do a bit of exploring while the going's good, while the town is quiet. Maybe, maybe not. Like, would it be worth my time? Like, am I going to find anything here? Uh, wait, the shadow just now bothers me. What was that? Oh, okay, that, never mind. I guess I have to actually follow it. Alright, so the game doesn't want me taking any shortcuts. Okay, blood trail leads this way, but can I... Oh, I can't go down here, blocked off. Uh, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll go the way I'm supposed to go. Instead of just wasting time. I think there's a little alley down here. Or wait, 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 wait. No. Yeah, from what I remember, it is like a little by road I go down, but I haven't come across it yet. Guess the exploration will have to wait. Help drinks, I see you. Okay, I don't understand why the small area needed its own loading screen. That was weird. And there's a save point. Okay. But if there is one thing Silent Hill has all the ambience of the games, the, you know, and also the the sound, everything, like it always instills th this, you know, constant fear of dread. Well, sense of fear and dread, I should say. Uh, James? That thick boy is right beside you. Look at those glutes. I'm jealous. But you know what? They're ripe for the spanking. Come here, you. Get down, thick boy. Is it dead? What the hell is it? It's not human. It's 
definitely not your mom either. Yeah, okay, best get out of here. Oh yeah. This thing broken? Take it anyway. I might need it. Well, yeah, you know, you could get weather updates and whatnot. Who knows? The fog might even break. I mean, after all, it is summertime. So we could get a few sunny spells. Okay, that was me trying to be funny. And feeling so hard. Yeah, but the question is, where do I go from here? Oh, oh, do I hear more thick boys? Yes, I do. Come here. Let me spank that booty. Wah! Want to stay out? Good. Oh, and I hear another one. Thick booty boys. Oh dear. Oh, whoa, whoa. I forgot you can do that. Come on, stop him. Damn. They be thick. I'm jealous. Wish my glutes were like that. Okay, but seriously, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. is there any particular place I'm supposed to be? Oh, Rosewater Park. Okay. Okay, right. We'll go down that way then. Or we'll head for that direction, I should say. Okay, what's this? Looks like a point of interest. Something is written on it. Too bad I can't read it because the surface has been rubbed away. Remains of something swamp. The earth of land surrounding his monument was originally swamp, but it was later filled. I assume that word is filled. Running ago, nicknamed Blood Swamp because the earth poured the waters. Something to wash the ex cells in here. Perhaps something had many mm, to have mm, the area. Okay, that's just more Silent Hill lore, I guess, but lore about the town. Is this way not blocked off? Okay, come here, you. Ah, God damn it. Right, get down. Okay, health wise, how am I doing? That's my map. Okay, not too bad. Those guys are tricky dicky to deal with. But I assume there is a technique. And that technique would be to run away. Okay, away with you. Why the hell am I coming down this way? I mean, uh, oh, energy drink or health drink, okay. Maybe this place is just full of treasures. What is that sound? Right, weird. I suppose there's anything else for me down here now. No, 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 no. Oh, point of interest, because I, I know that the camera sort of focuses in on points of interest, so maybe this could be something. Okay, and apart from the gate key, I will take that, though. I don't know what it might be used for, but you know what? Could come in handy. Uh, 
Like, let me check my map. Okay, so there is the Woodside apartment and Blue Creek apartment. Maybe I go through them? I'm guessing. I could be wrong though. Yeah, but first, <coughs> first, sorry, first I want to explore down here. Again, because I just want to make sure that there's no more health drinks, health drinks lying about. Oh, there's one here, yes. See, these things aren't really hidden in key areas, they're just scattered. So that's why you've got to be thorough. Get out of my face. You know, what's making that sound? That's weird. I want to find out. I want to find out what is that sound. Okay, now there's multiple weird sounds. Oh, whoa, whoa. I saw you. Stay down. Boy, I said stay down. Oh my god, James, you are an idiot. Wait, there's another one. Hey, 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 come back here. Stomp him? No? Is dead. Uh, where is this? Oh, okay. And that thing I keep here, it, it's it's that bug. That's what's making that sound. No, that's driving me absolutely cracked. Come back here, you. What would you freaking hit it, James? Oh, God, you're useless. God. Okay, I could do with a uh, bit of a top up, I suppose. Yeah. Looking a lot better now. Also, also, there's this dead eye here. It's got a diary. C can I actually pick that up, or is that just part of the textures? Oh, now I can actually look at it. I'm going to write everything that I've learned so far. Maybe that will help you out somehow. If you're reading this, it probably means I'm already dead. Okay. I saw those demons. They were there, I'm certain. But my friend says he didn't see anything. If that's true, does that mean that what I saw was an illusion? But whether that demon that ate human beings was real, or whether it was some kind of hallucination that my mind dreamed up, one thing I know for sure is that I'm beyond all hope. It seems that they're attracted to light. That's why people who need light to see are their natural prey. They also react strongly to sound. If you want to go on living, 
you'd be better off just sitting in the dark and staying quiet. But even that probably won't save you. If you're going to try to fight them, the most important thing to do is to relax. It's dangerous to fire a gun while you're all crazy with fear. Take good aim and then squeeze the trigger. And don't forget to finish them off. I think most of those creatures can be killed, even if they are tougher than people. my controller oh there we go run away run away run away run away, run away. Oh, sound advice that is actually the best advice you could have given me run away you know what james it's not too late i mean your your car is only a couple of clicks away but no of course not oh. Use the hell out of me. Oh, you know, no, screw, screw that. I'm not dealing with you. No, no, you can keep running away that in that direction. What was this? Oh, oh, oh. First aid kit, thank you. I'll be taking all of those while I can get them. And. Okay, so the apartments are down this way. Whoa! Good sweet Jesus Christ on a bike. Hey, buddy. Uh, uh, where do I go? 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 Oh, this looks interesting. So this is where it was supposed to be all along. Right, just gonna do a bit of exploring outside first. Check all the points of interest. Garbage, no use for that. Okay, that's uh, stating the obvious. Don't know why you'd want to rummage through garbage anyway. Nothing strewn on the ground. Oh, 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 oh. Locked. Okay, like everything else in this game. So I have to go through this apartment complex to get to what was Rosewater Park. I'm surprised that I actually remember that name. That was just a complete shot in the dark. But yeah, that's where I have to get to. By going through here. Oh, energy drink. Oh, not an energy drink, a uh, health drink. Yes, give me that. And map. Okay, got a map of the apartment building. Um, right, so it's probably going to take me a long as time to get through this one part of the game because it is a lot of going back and forth going through uh, going to or through one room to pick up a key that opens up another room that probably has another key item or might not have any key items at all but you know what T uh, might have tools that are necessary for survival so health drinks weapons what what not ammunition but uh yeah there's going to be a lot of back and forth here Okay, it's locked. And I don't have a light yet. I guess I pick it up later. Maybe. Okay, you gotta be freaking kidding me. I can barely see a damn thing in front of me. Hold on, just let me crank up the brightness there. Besides, my monitor has an awful deposition for dimming the screen. Whoops, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Because this is a new monitor, maybe well, a new Shinoff monitor. It is a gaming monitor, but for some reason, it always 
themes certain games or certain movies so when i was watching like the likes of the walking dead tv series on it it would go extremely dark okay that's better at least i can actually see now oh can't read the map Uh, no, screw that. Nope. Oh, I hear another one. Oh, I see another one. Another thick boy. But, yeah, it's going to be a process of elimination here. Going from one room to the other, finding key items that will, you know, help me progress. That's it. In a nutshell. Oh, flashlight. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what are you? You're not friendly, that's for sure. But you want neither am I. Okay, so, yeah, I got the favorite flashlight. Is there anything else here? No, just a flashlight? Yes. Um, anything on the table? Nope. Okay. We out. Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, nothing. Actually, so I can look at my map at last. Okay, so we're in room 205. I'm going to explore room 210, 211, and 212 first. Okay, so you're still there. Nope, you're not gonna get to drop on me. Okay, you're dead for now. Locked, of course. Oh, wait, wait, there's more trouble coming my way. Nope, might as well take care of that right now. Okay, down you go. And did I see another something something up here? I believe I did. Right, they're attracted to light evidently, so maybe I should leave it off. <gasps> oh shit! God, that was kind of scary. Okay, get handgun bullets. Whoa, 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 hey, hey. One stop. Oh, never mind. Why don't you stop him? Okay, never mind. I, I beat it into the shadow room. Great, fantastic. Uh, right, anything here? Anything at all? Oh wait, what was that? There's a newspaper on the ground, but there's nothing interesting written on it. Okay. Is there anything interesting here? Pills? Health drink? No? Just the bullets? Oh, more bullets. Nothing else. No, no, oh, okay. Bathroom. Oh, okay. So that's all this room was. Just a, a place for, you know, ammo. Okay, and there's this thing here as well. So maybe if I leave my light off, I can sneak by. Oh, no, that's not the case. That's a lie. Oh my god, 
I'll just stay down. You're locked, and I'm guessing locked as well. Yeah, locked. Lovely. Alright, so that's this side fully explored. Check out room 204 next, then 202 and 201. God, I hope these things can't respawn. That would be a pain in the ass. Okay, that's locked. There's also this room here. Why does it look like that there's a light coming from this? Point of interest? Uh, there's a trash chute. There's some kind of strange garbage stuck in the hole, and let me guess, you want to go through it. I mean, why not? I mean, I have seen stranger things in Silent Hill. Nothing surprises me. Uh-huh, locked, of course. Okay, two one is inaccessible, and that's locked as well. Right, so I'm gonna need a hell of a lot of keys. So normally, if a room is locked, it means I can get a key for it. So it's just a process of elimination here. Yeah, wait, what? The lock is broken. Okay, so I'll never be able to go into that room. What about this one here? Broken as well. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Okay, the music just got a little bit unnecessarily creepy. This note, it must be for the person who lived here. Three needles stand off three different heights, the fat, the tall and the thin. From slow to fast, they move to the right. Scott rests not on three, but fifteen. Okay, so that's gonna be part of a puzzle. I mean, I am vaguely used to Silent Hill now, because I have played through the first Silent Hill. And I did thoroughly enjoy it for the most part. I mean, I think it's a great place to start off for anyone that's new to the Silent Hill series. It's never too late to get into them. Okay, so Henry, Mildred, and Scott. Okay, weird, weird ass lines drawn on the wall. Anything else? Oh, whoa, 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 there's a clock. Oh, okay. Scott rests on three, but not 15, so... Scott is the second's hand, is, is the second's hand. And Mildred and he Henry, yeah, Henry. They're the hour and minute hands. Okay, so the clock is stopped at 6.32 and 15 seconds. If the face plate is closed, it is locked. I can't touch the needle of the clock like this. Okay. Okay. Right. We'll figure that out when we get to it. Okay, there's nothing else here now. No. And this way, completely barred off for some strange reason. Now, is there a third floor? Where's the exit? Oh, here it is. Yeah, there is a third floor. Can I beat this up? 
No. Oh. A conveniently placed key item. That looks to be a key. If I search my arm out, I just might be able to reach it. Or, you have a plank in your hand, you can just, you know, use it to pull it closer to you. Just saying. That might be a lot easier. <laughs> oh! Ow! Ha -ha. Hey, wait. Oh, you little Damn bitch. I mean, it's still not out of reach. I mean, you can still try and put it closer, but you know, game logic. You know, you can't do, you know, the most realistic things in games. Right, so let's just check out the map. So there's room 302 and 301. Those are the only rooms I can get to at the moment. Okay, the lock is broken. room is unusually quiet. Ooh, shopping cart. Um, thank god, yes. Sweet, now I can do some damage. But you know what, I think it would be a bit too reckless for me to start using it right away. I mean, I want to preserve ammo for when I actually need it. like the lock is broken can't open it okay so we're done here are we there's no other key items no nada anything else yay but that still begs the question how do i progress wait, 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 hold on there's something else on the floor i think or is that just part of the texture it looks important Okay, no. No. Okay, that's also locked, so... What? What now? Do I just go back the way I came? Because... There's nowhere else for me to go. Oh, I, I hear something something in the distance. Do I need something from the town? Do I need to explore the town a small bit? And find a key to a room in another building? Is that it? Don't believe that for a second. No, there's no way I'll be sent on a wild goose chase like that. And again, it is Silent Hill, so maybe? But again, I was given no indication to do so. I'll just go back to the second floor, just in case. Right, nothing has changed here. Just want to double check everything. Okay, impassable locked. Locked, not locked. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've explored every room here. What was that? Some kind of noise north of here? Um, okay, that one's different, but north, 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 um. These rooms? Oh, unless a room just opened up. Oh. Oh, it's you. 
Hey, pyramid head, how you doing? Just gonna stand there looking at me menacingly. But look at this. Check out these fantastic loots. See? Shake and bounce like I just don't care. Yeah, go on, sit on it. Okay, I hear TV. Oh. Oh, you weren't there before. I'm guessing the guy with the big slash blade, maybe. Probably ran him through and... Got the key to room 202. Ah, I knew it. I knew something like that would be afoot. So, 202 is down this way. Thank God I actually decided to come down here because I was just one thought, one click away from running around the town to find this key. I would have done it. Okay, so I think that leads me to believe that every key item I need in a certain area or in a particular area, they'll all be scattered around the current area that I'm in. So I won't need to go running about the town unless I need to. So what room is this? This is, yeah, 202. Okay, so what's going to be in here now, pray tell? Uh, okay, health drink, that's nice. An ominous red light from the sink. Okay, never mind, I guess it's nothing. You. Who are these? And what's that sound? Is that something I should be concerned about? The body of a dead butterfly is on the ground. There's nothing else of interest here. Are you sure? I mean, that sound is of interest. Green coop. It's too dark to tell for sure, but I think there's something on the other side of the hole. Investigate? Yeah, sure, why not? Put my hand through the stinking hole. Watch this now. Something scary is going to grab it. Oh my god, I still have my hand. Oh my god, the clock key. Yes, okay, now we're motoring. Now we're making smoke. Now we're making diesel. Uh, right, so just go back up to the clock room. That's, that should be it. Not a problem. I will cut up that way. Through the power of Sony Vegas. Or Magic's Vegas, I should say. Alright, here we are. Just want to go over the note again. Three needles stand off three different heights: the fat, the tall, and the thin. From slow to fast, they move to the right. Scott rests not on three but fifteen. Okay, so Scott is the second's hand. That much I know. So I think Scott stays stationary, maybe, I'm not sure. Henry looks to be at about 10. I think Mildred, which is the, which looks to be the minutes hand, looks to be at about five, five past or 10 past, so one or two on the clock. So, N past 
That could be 10 past 10 or 10 past 9. One or the other. But I'm not sure how the seconds hand plays into it. Uh, scars of the past shall remove the nail that stops time. Will you push the clock? I mean, I can try. Yeah, thought so. So I have to figure this out first. Okay, use the clock key. Oh. Okay. Right. So the second's hand stays stationary. That doesn't move, so that makes this easier. So, like I said, the uh, answer should be about 5 past 9 or 10 past 9 or... 5 past 10 or 10 past 10. I think so. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? What was that? Okay, that might have done something. Okay, let's try it now. Ah, aha. I'm so smart. So I'm at the other side. Room 209. Okay. Okay. Okie dokie, you're joking. Not doing too bad. Not doing too bad at all. Uh, okay, this room seems fairly safe. Doesn't look like that there's any monsters in around here, but there is an energy drink. Got a oh sorry, health drink. I keep calling him energy drinks. Uh right. Should I call this a video? I think I should, because I I think I got a good chunk done. I think I got a sizable chunk done. Um Because I know it's just gonna be more back and forth for now, I think. Or you know what, fuck it. I'll play for another few minutes. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Was there something, something on this tray here? Oh, yes, it's a save point. Yeah, I'll just save the game quickly there. Boom, done. Besides, I, I can use save states on this as well, so it doesn't really matter. I mean, save states are just handy because, you know, they're very convenient. I don't have to be inconvenienced by save points, but I do want to keep this game as, uh, as vanilla as possible. Did I think this is the door I go through? Yes, because there's nothing behind me. Uh, up or down, up or down, up or down, up or down, up or down. I'm going to say up, maybe. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, bullets. Now, how many bullets do I actually have? Uh, 30 and 10 in the gun. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so let me get my bearings here. So we have three way three or seven three oh six and then these rooms on the right. Okay. Some of these rooms are probably gonna be inaccessible. Yep, like that one. This one here probably. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh God! Okay, I don't think we were meant to see this. Just 
speaking of which, I hope he didn't see me. I mean, he was mid coitus after all, so hopefully he didn't. What sort of interpretive dance is that supposed to be? James, I think you just made him angry. Or maybe you saved yourself. Oh, I'm alive. Oh, speaking of which, I, I saw, yes, there's a key here. Courtyard key. All right. All right. That, that's that's a something. And ladies, please don't get up. You're still dead. Good. 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 Goody gumdrops. And hopefully, Pyramid Head will have fucked off, and he won't be chasing my ass about the place. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Is that in front of me or behind me? Whoa. Oh yeah, here's another key. This is the one that little girl keyed away. Fire escape key. Okay. Alright. They could be used on a fire escape, wherever the fire escapes are. I'm assuming the rest of these rooms are going to be locked now because, you know, I got all the key items I need. Oh, no, never mind. This room's open. And someone's cruising for a bruising. Waiting for a baiting. Come on, bring it. It's a shame to kill a thing with glutes like that. And I saw a health kit here. Yes, I did. Thank you. I'll be taking that. You don't need it. Anything else in this room? No, but James looks to be staring at something. His head is kind of tilted. Ah, ah, that's what you're looking at, bullets. Okay, that's handy, okay. So, if James sees something of interest, he'll sort of tilt his head. Ah, that is so handy. And a health drink, okay. Uh, okay, so I think we might be done on this floor. M maybe, and the control is a bit wonky. I think it's probably because I'm using a wireless connection. Okay, come on, bring it dude. Oh god. That was disgusting. Okay, health wise how am I doing? Ooh Ooh, that was bad, but I've got plenty of health drinks to my name. Health drinks for days, boy. Okay, where does this leave me now? Um, oh, oh, I think I know where I am now, I, I, I think. I'm right. 
which I think I am, I should be at the other side of the apartment buildings. Yes. So, this is the main lobby of the other side. Yes, yes, I'm at the other side. Okay, gotcha. So, I should be able to exit out this way. I think unless there's more rooms. Yes, there's more rooms. So, it's 105 and 106 and 107. Probably all locked or with broken locks. Yeah, broken. And oh, canned juice. Oh, oh! I think I know what I used the canned juice on. Yes, uh, I used this on the garbage chute on the other side. I think. So. I mean, I could be wrong, but it does seem like the only thing that makes sense, at least to me, because if we look at it, it's a six pack of canned juice, so maybe I, I used it on, on the trash chute, I think, possibly. And that's on the second floor. If memory serves me right. Should be just down this way. No. Oh, no, no, no. Yes, here, because it is a point of interest. Okay, okay, so that did a thing. Let me just go outside, I think, because there is a an opening for the trash chute. Aha! Okay, it looks like it's time to get our hands dirty. The garbage bag is torn and the contents are strewn all over. I got a coin. Old man. Okay, that's gonna be used for something later on, I assume. And what's this? Some gossip magazine, eh? The police announced today that Walter Sullivan, who was arrested on the 18th of this month for the brutal murder of Billy Loken and his sister Miriam, committed suicide in his jail cell early on in the morning of the 22nd. According to the police statement, Sullivan used a soup spoon to stab himself in the neck, severing his carotid artery. By the time the guard discovered him, Sullivan was dead from blood loss. The spoon buried two inches in his neck. An old schoolmate of Walter Sullivan's from his hometown of Pleasant River said, He didn't look like the type of guy who would kill kids. But I do remember that just before they arrested him, he was blurting out all sorts of strange stuff like, He's trying to kill me. He's trying to punish me. The monster. The red devil. Forgive me. I did it, but it wasn't me. The schoolmate then added, I guess, now that I think of it, he was kind of crazy. Um, Walter Sullivan, uh, I think he is the main antagonist of Silent Hill 3, no, Silent Hill 4, The Room. That name does sound familiar. 
He's. I haven't played the full game of Silent Hill 4 The Room. I played a demo. And I do know a, a bit of the lore. And what the name Walter Sullivan does ring a bell. So is this like setting up the premise for Silent Hill 4? Is, is that it? Maybe? Because I forget what role he plays all Although the only thing I do know for sure is that he was the antagonist. That, that's all, all I can say. Unless it's just a coincidence that, that the names are the same. Uh, any who, any Hubers, I think I've covered enough for this video. So yeah, I think it's a good place to leave it. I mean, I have to completely finish the entirety of the hotel. I thought... I might get this one huge area done in one video, but no, there's just too much ground to cover and not a lot of time to do it. But hopefully now in the next part, I'll get it all done. I'll get another bit done. And uh, yeah, so yeah, so far I'm, I'm liking it. I'm, I'm loving it. I mean, it's not as scary as I remember it, but then again, I have gotten used to, you know, horror games over the years. They don't have the same sort of fear effect at, on me as they did when I was a child. So, yeah, I I can definitely enjoy them more now and still be sort of, you know, on edge at the same time. Like, I'm not totally scared to play one. Bar maybe Forbidden Siren and a few other games. I think I'd be uh, too, sk too shit scared to play some of those games. Those games are terrifying. Uh, but, yeah, so until... Again, I'm comfortable with it, okay? That's all I will say. So, enough rambling for me, guys. You know what to do. If you did enjoy this video, by some freaking miracle, God bless you if you did. If you should give it a massive thumbs up, comment, favorite, share. And of course, like always, I'll see you in the next one. So, on to the next time. See ya.